All right, so you see the red lights behind me? Means we're red. Sorry about that. Nose is itching. Always does that when I go live. It's crazy. Sorry, you get to see me and my. I'm having like a, a kind of like a sinus attack. Kind of a crazy, uh, crazy day. So if you're looking around, hey Austin, what the heck is going on? Why is this all red? <sighs> Got a couple of reasons for you. So I do know what's going on. So bear with me, and we're gonna get into this. Okay. So here we go. 2.18 trillion down. 3.9 uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum down four and three percent respectively as a recording of this video. Depend upon when you're watching it. That's where they were at when I recorded. Um, but uh, they're gonna move around, of course, a little bit. But I'm gonna give you the exact reasons here. Un momento. There you go. As to why. The entire crypto market is down. We got a couple of things happening, and here we go. Okay, so number one, we have the uh, EU has is is drafting regulation that threatens the crypto industry, but the fight is not over yet. Okay, so basically, yesterday, lawmakers in uh, the European Union uh, are, are approved controversial amendments to the transfer of funds regulation. So it, basically, what this means is is that they want to start. Uh, making it harder for you and I, well, in the in the in, in, if you're in the uh, EU, if you're in Europe, to move money between, say, a centralized exchange to a decentralized wallet like MetaMask, Trust Wallet, Coinbase Wallet, etc. That's really what it means, okay? And, and and inside of that, they want to put, you know, they want you to fill out a bunch of paperwork and just a bunch of whatever stuff, whatever it looks like. Uh, now, this, uh, it, did, it was approved by a very thin margin. I don't think this fight is over yet. Um, and there's a lot of content that goes on to talk about this, like um, the CEO uh, uh, of hardware wallet maker Ledger came out against it. A lot of other people are coming out against it saying, quote, policymakers should adopt a constructive approach that does not stifle innovation, you know, et cetera. So I think this is going to be kind of an ongoing thing. And this is one of the major things that has people a little spooked. You know, you've got the government state coming in saying, hey, we're going to make it harder, the governments of the EU, we're going to make it harder for you to move money in crypto and things of that nature. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you have... Um, uh, kind of a TA side, and then there's a, a rumor, uh, a, a, another piece of content. So basically, from a TA side, it looks like we, we might be entering an overbought territory, and even in the sustainable run, we expect pullbacks along the way. So it looks like we might be a little bit overbought right now. That could be one thing. Um, this is talking about the EU scenario that we just talked about. Also, um, this right here, another factor making waves in crypto, was an interview with U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren who is a definite critic of the crypto industry. She was on Meet the Press, and she said right here, quote, the whole digital world has worked very much like how a bubble works and that it keeps going up based on what, she said, based on additional production, no, based on the fact that it's demonstrated that it solved all these other problems. It is now based using, which area where it had been used before, not really. It's moved up based on the fact that people tell each other it's going to be great. Now, I don't agree at all with what Senator Warren is talking about. You have the crypto industry and everything going on around it, all the all the DeFi and, and NFTs and metaverse and everything going on. This kind of comment really does irritate me um, and I'm picking my words uh, carefully uh, because that's not, that's not true. What she said is not true, okay? But what she said, the media has picked it up and it's another reason that people are spooked, okay? This too shall pass, but um, yeah, so that's what's going on there. Again, uh, we've got kind of multiple fronts of of uh, scenarios going on. We we'll get the EU with the regulation. We got Senator Warren saying what she said, and we've got you know um, might be a little bit overbought from a TA standpoint, from a from a technical standpoint. That's where we're at, guys. Uh, just kind of um, want to let you know. So I appreciate you coming by. Thank you for giving me a few minutes of your day. And as always, I appreciate you. If you haven't done so, hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of videos every single day on crypto, and I'm always here uh, for you. I'll see you.